Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. If y'all have not checked out my previous video, go check it out. It's basically talking about all the positions on a rig, what they do, and kind of their daily routine. So if you're interested, check that video out. It's, it's an awesome video. Now today I'm gonna be talking about this new position that I've had for about four months. Now, the position that I have currently is called an MWD field engineer or field specialist. Now, what exactly is an MWD? Basically, what that means is measurement while drilling. Basically, our tool measures all these values and all this data down hole, sends it up to our surface system, and we're able to transfer that data and utilize it while we're drilling. Now, what might that data be? Um, for instance, we got many values, and the most important ones are inclination and our azimuth. What those two values mean is when you're drilling a straight vertical well, you have you're gonna have some sort of inclination, some angle to it. You're not gonna drill perfect well straight, of course, right? You're gonna have some sort of inclination. Now, depending on the well plan with the operating company that you're drilling for. They're gonna want certain inclinations and certain azimuths at different depths in their plan. So this is where we come into play. We basically make sure that our tool works properly to give us those values. Our job is very crucial because without this data, we do not know where we're at down hole. It's like basically driving a car, right? You're driving a car and you're driving blind. Basically, our tool is the eyes to this whole operation. Now basically what we do is we give this data to our directional driller who we work hand in hand with and he's able to deviate or drive the, the vehicle, right? It's like you're driving down a lane. He's able to drive this vehicle and keep it within the lanes to our final TD section or to our final TD depths. How do we get our measurements exactly? Okay. Basically, our tool is sitting down hole inside the pipe, right? Our tool sends data through the mud column and pulses, right? So our tool basically pulses in and out. When there's a pulse, it kind of creates this pressure, this high pressure. And what that pressure does, it sends a wave through your, through your mud column sends a wave through your mud column up into our transducer. Our transducer is basically a piece of equipment that's on the standpipe and it reads this pressure wave and it's able to interpret that, that pressure wave and send that signal directly to our service equipment. And from there, that's how we get our data, guys. We're able to interpret all these different type of numerical values. Now, it is a lot more tricky to get these numerical values there are equations that go into it, but I'm not gonna get into it on this video. If you guys are interested in that, I can make another video. Just go ahead and uh, write it down in the comments. How we get this data, it occurs typically during every connection. Once we, once you, once you drill a connection down, right, you have nowhere else to go, so you gotta you gotta break, you gotta shut your pumps off, which is a key, key point in this. You shut your pumps off, and that is basically what's gonna help our tool prepare itself to send data up, up the annulus. So, once you break the connection, you pick up another stand of, of drill pipe, you make it up, and there's a technique to it, right? There's a good technique in order to get our surveys properly. So you, you make this connection in the pipe, you spin it in, you kick your pumps on, and once our tool detects that that motion from the from the fluid when the pumps turn on, it's gonna start pulsing and it's gonna send our survey up through the annulus to our transducer, and that's exactly how we get our inclination, our azimuth, temperature, dip, magnetic field, gravity, you name it, we got it. Now, our MWD tool is composed of about six to seven probes. Now these probes are about uh, two and three quarters outer diameter and the lengths of them vary depending on the section of the probe. Uh, we do have our helix and this is an order. Typically, 
we have our helix, our pulsar. Next is our gamma. Then we have a battery, SEA, and a battery. Now our SEA is where we have our accelerometers and our magnetometers. And our gamma, we have our gamma crystal, which is able to detect uh, gamma rays in our formation when we're setting our tool down hole. Uh, we have various tools that we run. We have our most common one, which is our mud pulse tool. That basically works primarily with drilling fluid, either water-based or oil-based. Now, the way our pulses get sent up is when our pumps are kicked off, our tool needs to kind of be at a standstill for about a minute, a minute and a half. Otherwise, it'll kind of uh, sink, it, sink itself and it, and it won't get a good survey. Uh, you kick your pumps on and that's how it detects uh, movement because as soon as you kick your mud pumps on, it's gonna push fluid and make that tool vibrate down hole and that's what is gonna help it pulse and catch our survey and send it up to our service equipment. We also have our Ryan pulser. Basically, it's the same as our mud pulse tool, but it's just a lot faster. It's able to detect uh, fluid movement a lot quicker and it's able to send our survey up a lot faster, which means data comes in a lot more frequent and it's just more accurate. Just in a nutshell and our other tool we have is our EM tool that's an electromagnetic tool basically it works with uh, electrical waves that it picks up down hole and it gets sent up through the Hertz crust and we have antennas in the surface that are dug into the ground and it catches these, it catches this data and it sends it up to our surface equipment now the way we catch our surveys with the EM tool is when our pumps are off. That's the best time that it catches the surveys. Um, that's about it for the type of tools and its variations and and its lengths and ODs. You know, it's, that's basically you know the type of tools that we run and, this, and their specifications. And that's basically a summary of kind of what, what I do. How the tool works and the data that we're able to get with this MWD tool. Oh, and another thing, our schedule, we don't really have a schedule. I know I mentioned on my previous video, in the oil rigs, you work typically a 14 on, 14 off schedule. Or if you're offshore, you can typically work 28 on, 28 off. But as an MWD and a directional driller, typically you're working about 20 and 10 if you have a rotation. If not, you're typically working 20 plus days guys and if you're lucky you'll have 10 days off sometimes a little bit more but with that being said there is a lot of money to be made it's not for everybody if you're single it's a great job to have if you don't like being home if you can be away from your family that's great or if you have a wife or fiance girlfriend that can support you and be loyal to you for while you're gone and you can establish a great relationship it's also a great job guys um, but again, it's personal preference and it really just depends on the person guys. That's about it guys. If you have any questions, again, comment down below and I'll, I'll be more than happy to answer those questions for you. Uh, thanks for watching and stay tuned for the next video.